Okay, and here we go, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. We're gonna do some more Blue Kaizo today. As you can see, we're gonna be going to the, the Vermilion Gym. I forgot the name for a second, I don't know how. And I managed to give Rhyhorn two levels and Rapidash one while I was just waiting for the stream to set up. And I went ahead and took out the TM for Dig. We're gonna use that on Rhyhorn. There we go. Since apparently it's not going to learn it naturally and I can get another one later. So is there another trainer here I can fight? Yeah, this guy. They're making absolutely sure I have to fight him. When I was in the army, Surge was my Strixio. Let's give it a go, chat. Let's give it a go. Gentleman wants to fight. That is not a uh, electric type. Well, I had Rapidash as the second switch in. But it looks like it's up to Pidgeot yet again. One minute in, chat. One minute in, I already gotta do this. Now oh, razor wind it. And that's not like it hit me anybody with intimidate. I wasn't expecting to get bodied by a Gyarados. At least that's a little bit of extra experience. Stop, you're very good. All right, now let's figure out this puzzle. Well, really, uh, what I should do is go back and heal. He did do half damage to my best Pokemon, so you never know if that'll make a huge difference. Ugh. I mean, I'm so close to the Pokemon Center, it'd be an absolute waste to just use a potion inside of there, so I'm just gonna take the extra 10 seconds and walk back. It's no big deal. I thought it would be a sure thing to just put Dig on Rhyhorn and not have to worry about damage from that last gym trainer. But of course, it's part flying type. If I want to send in Rapidash, it would have instantly killed it for sure. Back in we go, chat. Back in we go. Perhaps I should also spend my money before I um, make an attempt at this, though. get more later, but I have a lot on hand. Maybe spend it all on revives. Because I'm going to need those later in the field. There we go. And super potions for the remaining stuff. Buy two more of these. Alright, let's give it a go. Maybe I'll see Persian in this episode. Who knows? Who knows? I don't think I'm seeing Ride on. Maybe. Who knows? Normally, Rhydon's pretty high for a level up, but so is Ponyta, and that was a pleasant surprise. So... I guess it's still... Oh, okay. Wait a second, so... W what's the point of uh, removing the trash cans? Okay, these ones don't get interacted with. Is it just so I accidentally walk through them instead of turning my, turning my character? Is that the best they could do? All right, then. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. Let's see if I got the 50-50 glitch. Yep, I did. So if you've never seen that before, there's this puzzle is glitched, and there's always a 50-50 chance that the second switch will always be the top left one. Got a first try. Why are there computers here? Can I say anything? No. What about this? Nothing. All right, Rhyhorn, let's hope he doesn't start with a Gyarados. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I'll tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. Same as I'll do to you. All right, let's go, chat. He's got six? Oh. Well, I think we all know what's about to happen here. So what was that about uh, Pidgeot being overleveled? What was that, chat? What was that about Pidgeot being overleveled for the game, hmm? At least I'm completely walling him. Let's go. Almost. I probably should've used Double Edge, because I'm gonna need more... Oh. I'm gonna run out of Dig PP before I, uh, get through him. Let's hope I roll high. Yep, there it is. Are you s- hmm. All 
All right, then. That's not good. Critical hit explosion. No, no Pokemon in the game is living that. Magneton. Well, too bad it's not Steel-type, but... So the reason that Zerge is probably high level right now is because he's technically skippable. All his badge does is, uh, increases special, I think, right? No, sorry, it's a different stat. But, uh, it also lets you use Fly, so I think the dev wants me to ignore fighting him for now. Yeah, I'm getting sweeped. I have to come back. I'm probably gonna have to come back after I get to Celadon and activate the, uh, the gate- uh, the guards at the gates in Saffron, so that way I can, like, easily get back to Vermilion and fight him there. Because this is, like, yeah, I- I can't beat him. He has six Pokémon like this, jeez. At least Pidgeot got something for it. Oregon, can anyone else take it out? No, the rest of y'all ain't gonna do anything. Yeah, get him, War Turtle. You definitely stand a chance here. Lower his speed. Just let these guys faint. I guess I'm going to Rock Tunnel. Well, actually, what I should do is get the HM for Flash first. So it looks like they're all going to be level 39, and Raichu's probably, like, level 40. How about I just critical hit all of them and get out of here? Damn, Blizzard. That's pretty rude. Again, well, half the team is dead. I wonder if I could cheese it. Like, what if I just got... No, it's too fast. If Pidgeot was fast enough and I could just get critical hits on all my Razor Winds after, uh, after, uh, Electrode explodes, I could cheese a win, but nah. Let's go to the cave and get HM Flash. Oh, uh, right. Forgot. At least it won't be hard to get back with the Dig exploit. Here I was, thinking I was a smart Moomin. Oh, jeez. Forgot about the cave flashing effect there. Can't escape. Dug a hole. Rhyhorn too slow. I should have just attacked. There we go. And I should put someone else up front. Let Rapidash get some levels here, why don't we? Can spam Flamethrower on those things. Look at that horse face, chat. Alright, let's put Flamethrower at the top so it's easier to access. Yeah, I can definitely one-shot these things, so... Pretty safe. Every few steps, we're gonna find another one of these. I wonder if I can run into Doug Trio. If I use a Repel, can I find a high-level Doug Trio to KO? Yep, looks like it. Or... Wait. Oh no, Rap it's the same level as Rapidash, I see. This will at least make sure I only fight the ones worth killing. What the hell is this layout for the cave here? I see it up there. Can I get to it? Oh, God. So nice of these moles to make a fun little layout for me, huh, chat? Oh. I don't know why I went that way, then. Just keep looking. I know I see... There it is. What if the neighbors are doing something? I hear I hear something going on over there. 
I don't- I'm pretty sure the mic ain't picking it up, though. Baby mole defeated. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. Pokemon's Flash could light it up. Pell's effect wore off. I tried to check the, uh, sign. Aha. Imagine going all the way here and not having cut on you. That would suck. So this is the low-level area. So we're good. I may as well use another repel while I'm at it. Because this grass is gonna, like, be pretty annoying with the encounters for sure. Oh, the tree's back after an encounter. I forgot that happened. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. Nope, didn't mean to talk to you again. How about you, friend? How about you? I'm looking for Golbat. Wanna trade one for Mr. Mime? Oh, well. Wait, they actually are gonna give me access to a Psychic type? Um... Yeah, that's probably one of the only ways to get myself a, a, a real frickin' Psychic type. But is Mr. Mime good or bad in Gen 1? I've never used it. Probably because he can, you can only get it from that one trade Evo. Or trade, uh... You can find it, it's 1%. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? Professor Oak's aid. If you caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HM5. Probably, like, the worst psychic. Ah. Anyone ever use Mr. Mime in Gen 1? Because remember, like, I'm pretty sure it's one of those Pokemon where every single version of it in Gen 1... Uh, you can only get it from that one guy willing to trade for Clefairy, right? There's, like, nowhere else to get one, I'm almost positive. Even, like, Lickitung and Farfetch'd were available in other versions, either through, like, Yellow or, uh, Japanese Blue. In the earliest version of Blue Kaizo, that water blocked the entire path, so you couldn't get Flash until you had Surf. Oh, wow, that sucks. Even they had to let you get Flash for Rock Tunnel, uh-huh. Hmm. It's so weird how, like, the initial versions of Pokémon, like... There's a, there was just a handful of Pokémon that you could not get anywhere. Like, except through an NPC trade, and they were, like, locked through a nickname. Such a weird decision. Especially since there's so many repeats in areas in Gen 1. I think, like, even Jinx was available in the Japanese blue version at Seafoam, right? There's a Pokemon Center outside Rock Tunnel, at least. Wait, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that, because when I get there, it's probably gonna be moved next to, like, the power plant or something. Next to Reese up there, purple. Appreciate it. Yeah, you can't even breed in Gen 1, either. So, like, you have to get it that way. There's nothing else you can do, except using the level 7 glitch. Where you just kind of glitch a Pokemon to appear at level 7, like the thing everyone uses to catch Mew. Let me just set my thing back down here. Lickitung was trade only for the first time. And so was Farfetch'd. And you couldn't find them in the wild until, like, the later ones, I think. I'm almost positive Yellow Version has, uh, wild Farfetch somewhere. Okay. Level 28 on the horse. That's good. That's good. Here comes good old Pikachu chat. Pikachu. I don't remember what the trade was in Cerulean in this game. I know I can't get Jinx from it. Or could I? I don't remember. Alright, let's get up here. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Had to just sneeze there. Jeez. Was Jinx just not in yellow version at all because replaced by Gift Bulbasaur? Probably. 
I've never used Jinx in Gen 1 at all. That's like Saffron Gatehouse. What am I doing? Free XP is free XP, chat. My high speed and special will make the day. Let's go. Come on. Letting Rapid Ash's level get up will make it an easier switch in for this. That, and I may as well just spam the flamethrowers. Oh, I couldn't kill. Yeah, kick the poison type. Kick the poison type. Alright, let's get through here. I should have something in the PC that I can use for Flash. I'll trade that out when I get to um, the Rock Tunnel Pokemon Center. Okay. Up we go again, chat. The long way. A long freaking way to the end. I'm trying to fix myself here. What do you got for me, game? What kind of madness are you gonna unleash? It's gonna be rude. It's gonna be rough. Probably. You know, I'm just thinking, maybe I should use the Cerulean Pokemon Center. Because... This is probably going to make me fight every single trainer. And if I get sent back to Vermilion, it's going to be a long walk to get back. So yeah, let's let's do that. I got to use Cut again, though. Hang on. Once you're in, you can't get out. Ever. Ever, chat. Pokemon Center's just up here. Cerulean's just surrounded by water. Wonder if there'd be anything worth grabbing in Rock Tunnel. I guess we'll have to see. At this point, I don't really know if I want Blastoise anymore. I might just invest in, like, a different water type. Like, maybe Vaporeon. That didn't seem too bad. have something defensive, so I can also use Acid Armor to, like, recalculate the badge boost. What am I doing? Wrong menu. Okay. Let's see what they got, chat. Let's see what they got. Pardon me. Ugh, my throat feels a little weird today. I had a bit of a rough night of sleep. Yeah, the first encounter in the grass is always guaranteed. Or the first tile, I should say. Level 30, Butterfree. Yeah, Sunday's usually a long day. I can start whenever I want, but this is starting pretty late even for me. Oh well. I've got tons of crap recorded ahead this time. I was gonna spend tomorrow going out for a bit of shopping there, chat. Comfy shopping days. There we go. Maybe during the week I could do some Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to play more Scarlet for sure, and I want to see if maybe if I can get started on Silent Hill 4. I got so much going on, though, I don't know when I can get started on the next Zelda. Can I kill you with this? Let's try. No, hell no, I can't. <laughs> I got greedy. I just wanted to save a PP for a uh, double kick. I'm sorry, flamethrower. Kill it with this. A point must be made. There we go. Rapidash is not going to have trouble grinding here, that's at least for sure. I'm gonna run out of flamethrowers very quickly, but whatever. At least a Pokemon on the team except Pidgeot's doing something. Ooh, I could one-shot it, damn. I'm pretty sure if you kick a butterfly, it would hurt it a lot. Alright, we're still going. Still lots. Good thing I went to that Pokemon Center, because apparently it was a good idea. Here comes Magnemite. What was I saying? Yeah, I want to find time to start the next Zelda game, which I still do want to do Phantom Hourglass. Oh, come on. 
But we got so much going on. May as well take it easy. I don't want to absolutely overwhelm myself. I'm going to go ahead and flamethrower it. See if it kills. Damn. All right, fine. I'll use a super potion after this battle, and then we'll go into uh, the trainer fight. I'm so proud of this horse. Once again, I've never been so happy to use a rapid ash in my life. It's working out for me. I don't even have the horn drill stats yet. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. So see those ledges? Those are to prevent me from running back to the center every battle. I have to just battle until I drop. That's the rules, I guess. Four Pokemon. Okay, have I got the Pokemon for this? 35. Oh boy. Probably can't one-shot. Jeez, so many people are speeding down the road outside today. Well, being paralyzed sucks, but at least that means I can't be hit by sleep powder now. Wait, wait what? Excuse me? Chat, did I read that right? Did Petal Dance just drain me, or what, did I just, like, blank and read the wrong move? Polyworld's coming out. Go Meowth and Pidgeot. Look how squishy Poliwhirl is in this game. This cat has got to become a big cat. Hmm. Yeah, just hit the Whirl. Super Potion. I'm not that- I'm not too far ahead of Poliwhirl now, am I? Pokemon are still gonna rough me up, especially with any kind of, like, type advantage. Farfetch'd. Uh, Rhyhorn should be able to do this just fine. Trust in Rhyhorn, chat. Trust in Rhyhorn. Just double-edge it. Okay, maybe that did a bit more than I was expecting. Alright, time to send in Mama Bird. Here we go. Swift should be enough for you. Oh, damn. Not enough. Too weak to make a substitute. Make a competitive team? Ah, uh, not right now. Maybe. Ponyta. Okay, Rhyhorn can do that, I hope. Double kick is super effective against me, but I got the defense. Let's see if I can hit the two digs. Alright, just don't burn. Well, unfortunate. Ooh, I was really hoping I could get the KO. Sad, but send it back in. Ooh, that sucks. Okay. I had an awakening just for this moment, because I can't afford to go down. This is only the first trainer. Quick attack, make sure it dies. In moments like these, I'm really worried of a 1 in 256 happening. You deceived me. Alright, this is what we got the potions for, chat. This is what we got the potions for. And the paralyzed heals as well. Don't worry, Meowth. You'll you'll be fine. Meowth is kind of just the team mascot right now. Right now, he's just kind of like follows me around. If follower Pokemon were even a mechanic in this game. There we are. There we are. You know what? One more. Why the hell not? I want to believe Rhyhorn can do something. And. I know I have Paralyzed Heals. Where are they? Okay, nine. Okay, the Hiker is probably not going to have a Grass-type for me to shred with, um... What I need. Is this normally Teleport? Let me check. Okay, so that makes sense being here now. Now I can easily go back to the center if I want. If I had someone that can learn it, that is. Oh, well, it's fine. Alright. What do you got for me, game? What do you got? 
Hey, Lickitung. Lickitung is, in fact, a Pokemon. You can say that much about it. To a Swift? Okay, good enough. I'm really glad that wrap miss. How long is its tongue if it can wrap something? Well, here's another encounter. It just keeps going. Send it out, send it out. I feel like Meowth should evolve just around the corner. The sooner I get slashed, the sooner it can clean up. Yeah, let me get some water. I feel like I need it. It's been so cold lately, and the air just feels so dry inside. Just having a bunch of cold water on the side is so nice. Great, I was bored, eh? Chat, just a quick reminder, uh, this is not the place to ask where to download anything. I feel like that should be Twitch 101, so, uh, let's not do that. Alright. Well, I guess Pidgeot's going out, because we got Hitmonlee. I was really hoping it would miss, and we do the funny one, like, uh, one HP recoil. The music is low. Sand Slash. Um, duh. Well, I'm not really using War Turtle anymore, but... Let me just let Rapidash hit Flamethrower. Sand Slash always looked particularly spiky in this version of its sprite. Oh, I got the burn. Nice. Uh, critical hits, though, go through the burn reduction. So, that's unfortunate. Especially since the Slash is almost- Oh my god, did I seriously miss? Miss the kill, that is. Well, whatever. Defeated Hiker, here we go. Keep it coming. Oh wait, I'm out of Pokémon. Back to the Super Potion spam. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Come on, Pidgeot, you need to carry. You can't let the kids down. You're doing your best, Mama Bird. Everyone believes in you. Oh my god. Every time I get to a new patch of grass, I forget the rule that the literal first step is always going to be an encounter. Well, this should be an easy one-shot. A little bit of experience for Meowth. Please give me Persian already, game. Not good, not good, not good, not good. If Eevee's still a gift, I think I will just reset until I get a good IV one. Let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. I really was one level away. Nice. Greedy cat. Let's take a look at it. Excellent. Bite and payday still, of course. What's its attack stat? 49 at that level. Let's Rapidash at 28. 61. Damn, Rapidash has more attack? Huh. Didn't realize that. I thought special would be better. Especially since it has a low IV for its, uh, attack stat. Well, we got it. Remember, all it needs is speed and attack. And that 75 speed is pretty scary to look at. So now we have a real member we can use on the team. Now, oh, come on. I didn't realize what that was for a second. I was looking at Weeping Bell. Should probably just run. That thing can use sleep powder, poison powder, and it's never fun. Let's 
see how much I can do with Payday on my own. Ooh, okay, critical. Oh, well, criticals in Gen 1 are more based on speed, so this is fine. Chat, uh, remind me how much... Wait, hit three times. Didn't he use Twin Needle? Oops, not enough there. What stat does, uh, Lieutenant Surge's... Oh, it's Pin Missile, sorry. I thought he was using Twin Needle. That's why I was confused by the hit three times. Yeah, sorry, I was getting distracted there. I was wondering what Surge's badge... What's the stat increase for that one? It, it's realistic to try and cheese him, but I don't want to do that. It's better to move on for now. Defense? Okay. Let's keep going. We gotta get him beat up anyway. The team gets stronger. Persian can pretty much run away from anything, though. Persian doesn't have access to any one-hit KO moves, does it? All I can really think of is maybe, like, Giovanni's, uh, Fissure TM at the end of the game. Using Horn Drill will probably be better. Probably two-shot it with Bite. For sure. Ooh, not quite. Almost. Every encounter is going to cost me a super potion, won't it? Critical hit. 56 cash. Where does the money cat get its money, chat? Who's that walking with those good-looking Pokemon? What a weird thing to say to a passing stranger. Oh, boy. It's gonna go for it, so I better hit him anyway. Oh, I do no damage to you. I do no damage to you. Please just send in Rapidash and kill a Flamethrower. I'm down to four flamethrowers, and this is like, what, Trainer 3? Finish it with this. Barely any recoil, because the amount of damage taken was so low, because they're low health. Nice, that's what I want to see, that's what I want to see. Charmeleon. Ah, uh, come on, Rhyhorn, I know you can dig this. Let's go. Yeah, I think for water type... So, like, the thing is, I'm trying to think about, like, having good IVs for, like, the end game now. I know they're DVs. I keep calling them IVs. You know what I mean, so don't worry about it. Did a lot. I'm not gonna kill it. My special's just too damn low. Alright, Pidgeot, get in there and clean up. <laughs> oh, you know. You know, game. You know the drill. The kids are in danger. Send out Mama Bird. Junior Trainer. Out like a light. Oh, I thought I was going to get an evolution message, and I realized it was just the payday. I'm down to nine super potions. Look at me go. Look at me freaking go, chat. And my cat's asleep. If I take the left path, it'll probably let me get back to, um... Back to Cerulean. Hmm. I battle this guy and just use repels to make the trip back. That wouldn't be the worst idea I've done. I can't use Dig in the field. It only works inside of a dungeon to teleport you to last Pokemon Center. Got up early every day to raise my Pokemon. Quick question. I was, I'm was i curious now. Um, when you use Dig and Escape Rope in this game, it takes you to the last Pokemon Center. Was it Gen 2 or Gen 3 that made it so that you had to... Um, it takes you to the entrance of the cave instead. Also, honey, it, yeah, yeah, funny, haha, ha, it's level 100. Yeah, I know. I know, chat. I'm not gonna do much damage to it. I guess I'm just gonna have to send out Rapidash and burn it or whatever. Game already pulled this one. I'm not gasping. I'm not wheezing here.
critical hit. Having Pokemon with high speed is gonna is good because crit rate is, has is based on speed. I don't know like the exact formula off the top of my head. Probably should have saved a flamethrower. What am I doing? He got it to level 100 and no Beedrill. Metapod. Yeah, you know what's coming. It can tackle. I mean, I'll just let Pidgeot kill it. It's not going to give much anyway. It's not going to give much at all. Plus, the plan is to, uh... Okay, mid flinch. We're going to go back to the center on the side there. No special attacks now, so this is fun. I used up my last flamethrower when I should have finished Kakuna off with just a uh, double edge or something. It will die. I think higher speeds have around a 20% crit rate. It's not bad. And Mama Bird, we trust. We're about the same now, anyway. I'm doing no damage, chat. Harden, but nothing happens. Almost there. <laughs> it didn't even move. Fifteen forty two. What? What a total waste of time. Yeah, you sure train those bug types, all right. Oh, right. Gotta put Pidgeot up front. The levels are too high, chat. Ah, uh, maybe I can kill it with Dig, actually. Let's try. Might not be too bad. I hit with Recoil. A whopping tiny speck of health there, chat. Got nothing. Alright, Mama Bird, you know the drill. I just send out the Pidgeot to follow me around and the wild Pokemon are just, just scared off. Okay, yeah, this takes me back. The Gauntlet of Trainers continues, chat. The Gauntlet of Trainers continues. Isn't it fun? Yeah, I guess this way is faster. Surge is already higher level than the trainers there, so that pretty much confirms it. They don't want me to fight Surge first. They want me to go back after I get access to uh, the Saffron Gates. Kanto pretty much opens up as soon as you can open up Saffron. It always kind of bugged me how, like, the four cities surrounding Saffron are so close, they might as well all be one city together. They're all just a 10 second walk away. How can they even be called routes? Um. I may as well use repels to get back to the spot I was at. The teeniest, tiny routes, of course. And they're still just as tiny in Let's Go, too, aren't they? Okay, back we go. At least the Repel lets me get there stupid fast. I hope you like the happy bike music. You're gonna hear a lot of it. Okay, here's the next one. I'm gonna have an encounter as soon as I walk on this guy, but... Who's closest to leveling up? I should check that information first. 2080. 
Okay, Persian's actually close to another one. Let's do that. Yep, there we go. Easy to run away, at least. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. But why? Why wander the mountains when you could just go through the Saffron Gates? It's still never fully explained, isn't it? 37. I don't trust you to finish it off. Sendo Pidgeot. Does even Let's Go have any kind of, like, extra dialogue that explains why the Saffron Guards just won't let you in? Holy moly, that was annoying. I did a lot. Ooh. Wish I could have Drill Peck, but Pidgeot sadly never gets that. But I can learn Heat Wave. Apparently. What do you got? I want to say Rapidash can finish the mole. Hopefully. I know everyone likes to say Team Rocket bribed them, but, like, that's not an official thing. I mean, like, an actual, legit reason that is explained in-game why they do that. Damn, critical hit. We take that. Ivysaur. Send it out, send it out. I know you don't have Sleep Powder. Or do you get it at that high level? Who knows? Okay, 32. The team is coming together. Wigglytuff, who could fight that? Everyone else still really need, needs levels. The Geot's kind of low on health right now. Maybe just let... Oops, I meant to hit B there. Let me just use Double Kick. Well, there's my crit. High speed, so I get a critical chance on each one. Although, it looked like the critical did less damage. Am I losing my mind, or... Does it only display the critical hit message once and apply it to both attacks? Weird Gen 1 stuff, I guess? Oh. Well... That's unfortunate. There's not that many trainers left. Let me switch into a blizzard. Go ahead. I'll just let Cat finish you off then. Get closer to Slash. At least I have a chance of flinching with this. Sorry, what was Bite's flinch chance again? Is it still 10% in this gen? I won't one-shot you anyway, but... Ooh, yeah, that did nothing. Ooh. Team's getting messed up by this one junior trainer. Can't measure up. I picked up a tiny amount of cash. Alright, the Pokemon Center is not too far ahead, I hope. I might just have to use Pidgeot to push ahead. I'm running low on Super Potions. Okay, I'll just use Rhyhorn and Pidgeot for a bit now. Put you up front. And there's the encounter. Hmm. I don't really recall how Magneton is in Gen 1. Go ahead and just hit it with Dig. Come to think of it, outside of, like, Zapdos, who is the best, like, stat- like, base stat-wise for Electro-types in Gen 1? Did I miss? There we go, I guess I did. That sucks. Jolteon? Okay. That's a problem, since I wanted Vaporeon, I can't have both, unless Eevee can be caught somewhere else. Oops. If Eevee can be caught elsewhere, I wonder if Vaporeon and Jolteon would be viable for coverage later. I don't know. 
Why I try? Let's try it again, chat. Got him. Didn't Raichu not really have much defense at all? I remember it being kind of like a glass cannon. Apparently in Gen 1, all the evolutions are good except Flareon. No, I don't need to do that. I need to get to that center now, or I'm gonna burn these potions before I get to the tunnel. Magnemite is just a slow electric type this gen. Fair enough. Come on, dude. Onyx. This could be a little rough now. War Turtle, do something. Do something while you're still technically on the team. Now, see, that's not good. I lived. Hey. About to use Ghastly. Uh, Nightshade would probably kill me for sure, so probably better just to use Wing Attack. Damn, this is the worst thing to have Pidgeot at full health for, huh? Is Flareon technically better in Gen 1 because of the merge special stat? I just remember that for the longest time, it was a meme that Flareon was kind of bad because it's, uh, stats and bad access to moves. Oh, critical wing attack, nice. You know what I should do? Maybe I should just do an Eeveelution run sometime. People do monotype challenges, why not all Eevee runs? That would be wholesome and cute. Could even do it in Let's Go Eevee! Just make the honorary member the overpowered starter, Eevee. Oh, boy. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to use a revive. And potions. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, boy. No full restore. Oops, can't use that in the field. I was gonna try some monotype runs before. Do they work well with randomizers? I mean, I would assume as much, since a lot of Pokemon would be... You don't find all the types early on, that's for sure. Probably would be better to change the starter and randomizer like that. Um, I guess I'll put Rapidash up front. Which reminds me, I was talking to some of the people on Discord about, like, changing the player sprite to one of the gym leaders for a monotype run. That would be something that would be fun to do. Oh, damn it. The gremlin's here. I wonder if this would be better. Nope. Ends too high. I got paralyzed? Oh. It went for psychic. Well, if Clefable's got coverage, I guess I'm gonna have to kill it. Get in there, Mama Bird, you got this. Oh! That's not good. This is like one of the last trainers, I think. If I, I can't think if there's any more after her. Unless they put the trainers after Rock Tunnel on this route. Oh my god, they probably did. And there's the hiker. Right. I gotta go back, I gotta go back. Oh, what a pain in the butt. This team's getting decimated. I gotta go back and spend my money, and then just go back again. Welcome to the fun zone, chat, where you have to fight every trainer. You gotta carry a cut user. At least the team's coming together. Rapidash could just get their level up. They'll be just like Pidgeot. They'll replace Pidgeot. I, I guarantee it. They're just so strong. I 
I don't recall burn chance being particularly high in Gen 1. Are all fire moves just like, what, 10% on that? Or were they 30%? At least Fire Blast has to be higher. I think that was like its whole gimmick, is that it was like the original move that could burn more. Or that could have just been flavor text for all I know. A lot of moves straight up lie about their effects because they just get them wrong or something. I saw a burn a little bit earlier. There we go. I didn't spend my money. Oh well. Let's just get back to the trainer we were fighting. I've got payday now. And I have uh, the big cat, so we're good. This route can be quite annoying to traverse here, can it? Definitely more than 50 steps, that's for sure. Let's go, go, go. Aha! Aren't you a little toughy? Can't count on hikers having their normal uh, geodudes and machops. So let's see what you got. Alright, that's about right. 38. Let Farfetch just die so I can safely throw in War Turtle for Bubble Beam. So sorry about that, Farfetch'd. You had to be sacrificed. Yeah, you're still Rhyhorn. At the end of the day, you get hit by a blade of grass or a drop of water, you're dead. Seedra. Let's give it a go. Too high level, but does it have Blizzard? It probably could have Blizzard. Flinch lock. Yeah, let's flinch. Critical hit. No, Hydro Pump. Strongest stab attack in the game for him. This is why I'm having a swell time, chat. I'm having the most swell time of my life. Everything dies. Even me. Pidgeot back in again. You got Wigglytuff. You have, like, e everybody on this route has a Wigglytuff for some reason. Alright, even with Evolved Pokemon, I'm still gonna have to play the switching game. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if the badge boost from Surge would be worth it to go back and get. And this thing can have Blizzard. I just hope I can tank one. Maybe before I enter Rock Tunnel, I should just go back and try and sweep Surge. Uh, whatever stat he gives is, uh, something. What's that? Oh, you lost. Yeah, that's right, you lost. Oh, there's another one. This guy normally had bugs, I think. Like, Venonet. Yeah, super bug Pokemon. Will he still have them? Probably not. Okay, he's got the Death Moth. This is your chance, Rapidash. Make a comeback. There we go. Well, Surge can't give special... Um, because Blaine gives that. It might have changed it in Gen 3 where special stats were split. Go ahead and send it out first. Hello, friend. Welcome. Ooh. The way Scyther looks in that sprite looks so weird. Like, its mouth is open, but it just looks so wrong. In fact, if you take away its lower jaw, it looks like it has a Charizard head. Man, you bet you can't unsee that now. Oh, Scyther's fast. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's fine. 
Um, I wonder if Rhyhorn can just cheese a victory out of this. Let's try. Yeah, it makes it look like it's hinged. Come on. I'm proud of you, Rhyhorn. You're showing all the haters that you can grow. Uh-oh, but uh, you, you don't have to show that hater. Get out of there. Hmm. Just let Pidgeot do it. This guy gotta go, because I'm almost positive there's no more trainers after this one. It's gonna spam guillotine, isn't it? I just realized Pinsir gets that. It's like, almost like its signature move. Only Pinsir and uh, Kingler get access to guillotine, right? Maybe Krabby, but... Uh-oh. Darn it, there's that too. Alright, we did it. Pidgeot is still too weak itself. I love the level up noise when you're at low health. It's like a bittersweet thing, ain't it? Okay. Trainers, trainers, trainers. No trainers. Yeah, very funny game. Very cute. Yeah, you're welcome. There's one trainer outside of Rock Tunnel. I guess I can go inside. Wait. Repel Who was up front? Oh, Rapidash, okay. I get the feeling I'm gonna be running back to this Pokemon Center several times. At the very least, chat, you know what I can do? I can use Dig inside the tunnel to go right back to here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, I better make my repels last, then, in that case. Alright. Let's take a look at him. I'm mainly using these four mons for the long run. War Turtle is just kind of there. I'm gonna go with a different water type later after I can catch something with uh, good DVs, because I'm thinking long term. So I won't, if I catch some random Pokemon and just use it all the way through, I'm gonna have to replace everything by the Elite Four. Hmm. Who's close to leveling? Right, I still need to put Flash on something, that's right. Hang on, let me go get something out of the PC. There's gotta be something for that. I don't need Cut inside. Uh, Golduck could probably learn it. I'm not using the Golduck anymore, sadly. No, it cannot. What can learn Flash? Uh, with what I got here, I might need to catch something. Uh, I don't know, maybe just try random Mons. TM logic has never made sense. Oh. Snake cannot Flash. I'm probably going to have to catch a Magnemite on the previous route, won't I? I highly doubt Tangula can, but it's probably the last one I can try. If Paris can learn it, then Tangula should. Nope. Alright, I gotta catch a new Mon, because apparently I don't have one. Bit of a pain in the ass, but that's just how it is sometimes. Venonet can learn Flash. Can it tank a flamethrower? Let's find out. I get experience if I'm wrong. Oh, look at that. Happy surprise. Horse is stronger now. You can definitely learn Flash. Problem is, I know what you do. I know what you're going to do. So I just have to YOLO ball it, basically. 
He's got T-Bolt. I wonder, with the importance of speed in Gen 1, how's Electrode as an Electro-type? Does it get, like, a decent crit chance with, like, Thunderbolt or something? That wouldn't be too bad. Tell you what, I'm, I mean, I'm catching it to use Flash. You know what I mean? Normally a lot of crits. It's not going for the thing. Is Jolteon faster than Electrode? Electrode, in my mind, has always just been, like, you know, the super fast Mon. I mean, I'm catching it for Flash, and there's no move deleter in Gen 1, so I can't put Flash on a Pokemon I'm going to use. Electrode is the fastest, yeah. Jolteon would still probably be better, but at the same time, I also wanted Vaporeon. Hmm. Funny how uh, Jolteon also gets access to Pin Missile. It's like the only non- like, I think it's just what? Beedrill and Jolteon that get it? Tell you what, chat. Someone pull up a calculator, tell me this thing's IVs, and I'll we'll make a decision based on that. Number 100. Was Voltorb number 100? Huh. Usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. They have been zapped- they have zapped many people. I love the calculator. I like how it's the only Pokemon with the Pokeball symbol in Gen 1. For obvious reasons, of course, but... Assuming Voltorb hasn't had any stat changes in Gen 1... Here, there's a perfect chance for me to stretch while I just put that on the screen. Explosion's a one-time strat, though. Not really the best for, like, the Elite Four and stuff. Its attack stat's also not great, so you can't rely on that. Ooh. Hit print screen or something there. Take a screenshot if you want to, like, pop that in there. Does Magnemite use the Pokeball Sprite too? Huh. I never thought about that, but I guess that would make sense. Got one explosion, one to self-destruct. Somehow didn't use those in that battle. Let me rock back here and heal. I don't think I'm going to use it. Is Electabuzz also really buffed? That would help. Let me go over to that trainer now. Uh, Rapidash seems to have a good time killing things in this area. Repair his kill. It's not gonna give much. Let's go take out the- oh... I have to- No, no. Are they gonna make me go through the power plant? Oh my god. Well, I gotta go get out Farfetch now. Guess I have to go get Farfetched. No, okay, good, good. I was worried for a second. I was really, really worried they were gonna make me do that. Well, this is gonna be rough, but goodbye, War Turtle. Where is Farfetch'd? All right, we got him. Happy little Voltorb, coming out to play. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna end up using the Voltorb. Ooh, does, like, the buffs for Pokemon base stats in this game make any of them really, like, super better? Like, apparently Electabuzz is very good, if I can get my hands on that. Jeez. Is the power plant even here? There's coughing. Is 
It's a little shrew. It's popping out of the ground just to say hello. Alright. I like how there's a little house here. Implying this trainer just kind of lives out here. What Did Vaporeon and, and uh, Jolteon get buffed themselves in this game? That would be kind of good. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? Heck yeah. Pokemaniac wants to fight. What do you got? Uh-oh. I've always got the wrong Pokemon up front for this stuff. Hmm. Well, not my best matchups. I don't have water or grass on me now anymore because I'm smart. Come on, you can take it. Come on, let's go. Come on, horse. You're dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get walled by rock types pretty damn badly, don't I? I probably should make sure I take in... I need space for these two, though. <sighs> God damn. I have to take in the... I have to take in the cut user and the flash user to rock tunnel, so... That's great. Dratini. That's kind of, that's kind of a downgrade after that. What's the catch? Probably gonna super kill me. I need, like, ten levels on my Pokemon, like, right now. They're growing absurdly fast. Can't even deal with them anymore. Well, that- alright. Yeah, you definitely deserve that critical hit, Dratini. Dragon Rage. Yay. Perfect. There's my critical hit double edge. How do you like that? Hmm. I'm not angry. They sound angry. Well, now I have to go back. Back to the Pokemon Center. That's right over there. It looks like dying to surge over and over is like the fastest way to get experience points. Like, unironically, yeah. Because if I try and go back to... Yeah, I have to go in the tunnel and use Dig now. If I try and go through Rock Tunnel as I am right now, I'm just going to get bodied over and over. This is going to freaking destroy me. Everything just, like, leveled up too damn fast here. Alright, what do I got? Put Pidgeot up front. No, thank the raid there, whom? I appreciate that. Yeah, it's right there. They're not gonna make me go through it. Luckily. I gotta fight you, though. I've been to a Pokemon gym a few times, but I lost each time. That Pokemaniac's just got a little house down there. At least they got somewhere to live. There's the tough. Pidgeot can't really do crap to rock types, though. I don't suppose there's been a place where I could catch an Eevee anywhere at this point. I highly doubt that. Rapidash was absolutely a good investment, but oh. Okay, that's gonna suck. Will this one no surf? I'm curious. It probably will. Or will it just waste all its turns spamming, uh. Thunderbolt? Or Thunder Wave. This is good. This is good. Oh, it does no surf. Can I get away with another turn? Oh, chat. This is Rhyhorn's payday. This is Rhyhorn's payday. Come on. I th the Metapod gave more than that. Wow. Damn. Ooh, blew it again. Alright, yeah, they set it up like this. Let's get a quick look in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what am I looking at? Hang on, I gotta actually put Flash on the Voltorb. Not really gonna be using it now. 
Raichu missed Surf because it was underground. There we go. Just get rid of that. I do I want to see what this looks like? What? They just put black tiles there? You can't even see the walls in the darkness. Holy crap. How many trainers can I fight before I go? Just maybe the one? I can use Dig and go back to the Pokemon Center now. Oh, gee whiz. That's very rude. Even Pidgeot can't face this now. Shouldn't have tried to fight them, I should have just left. The coverage, chat. The coverage! Critical, let's go. Oh my, you got that too, do ya? You got that too, do ya? Here's my crit. Alright, this is where I get wiped. That's a noise. I did my damage. And it hit. Damn. I was hoping I can get the kill with Rhyhorn. Well, goodbye to my money, but I, it's already fine. It's fine. Really not losing that much from it. Yep, I don't stand a chance there. So now we're gonna repel and we're gonna go all the way back to Vermilion and fight Surge. Because not only do I need his experience, I need his badge. For the, just, for the stat gains at this point. It's kind of absurd, but... Yeah, I, like, it looked like they wanted me to move on from Surge, but I think this was the intention after all. They want me to realize I gotta go back for his badge. Yeah, I'll just fight him here. It's fine. No reason not to spam Razor Wind on you. Thirty-two, twenty-nine. Oh, God, you shoot you you three gotta like get better. Blastoise wouldn't be helping much at all. It would just be dying to Thunderbolt that everything in the game knows for some reason. Well, there's a Tonjella. Go on, give make make Pidgeot stronger. It deserves it. It deserves it at this rate. <laughs> Take out the blue spaghetti. Gives a good amount. Rapidash first. I don't suppose I'm a level or two away from getting Slash on a uh, Persian. That would be good. Especially since it's Meowth has learned nothing except Payday since I got it. Which is kind of silly when you think about it. A thing I also have to consider with being underleveled is that I also have no stat experience at all in this game. Which means I'm much, much weaker than the game is normally intended for. Well, in vanilla, anyway. Talking about the levels. So even when I'm at equal level, it's hard to say if I'm even still on equal footing with the AI, I guess? I'm not sure if the AI has any stat experience at all in this hack. Let's go heal here first, and then go back to Vermilion. Name of the game is fun, chat. Fun. If I can at least beat Surge today, that's still another gym leader in the episode, and I'd say that's progress. Just like a good boost to your um, defense every battle when a Pokemon is, is sent out is like amazing, so that'll help. Given it's mostly special attacks that are messing me up, but... 
What can you do? It's Kaizo. All you can do is just suck it up and get get a move on and try again. If it was gonna be easy, I would put speedrun in the title. I wonder if I could do something like that as a joke. Just be like, hey guys, Blue Kaizo speedrun, and then it's just 10 minutes of me walking through walls to warp to the credits. That would probably, like, ride the algorithm, and the comment section would just be filled with so many mad people. There you go. AI doesn't have any. That is close to the actual speedrun. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't be clickbait then, it would be legit. Let's do that. Heck yeah. Ride the algorithm with all that hate chat. Nothing makes a video go better than that. It's fine if I'm losing some health here. You know, let's look. Let, let's try and look at things a little more positively. I didn't like get. I didn't like get walled at Rock Tunnel. I went to Rock Tunnel to train for Surge, and I accomplished my goal. My Pokemon are higher level, and now I will uh, go get more experience from Surge and get my stat increase. You see, all part of the plan. Hello, friend. Welcome. It's nice when people watch the VODs and stop by. I appreciate it. Let me hit him with Flamethrower. I don't really want to use a Nido King or a Nido Queen. I mean, isn't the King pretty much just a better version of Queen, like, in general? They're both the same type. I think King just has better stats. There we go. Maybe when I start some purity attempts after this, I should try a Pokemon on my team for the forest. The last clear was Persian, though, so that one I shouldn't pick. There we go. I don't like to pick too many related Pokemon for that. Queen's defense, King's attack. Ah, right. It's kind of hard to say that her def extra defense would really be worth it, though, considering their typing. They have so many weaknesses. So I guess in, in Gen 1, it doesn't really feel like it, I guess. Poison Ground just, yeah, even in Gen 1, that leaves you open to a lot of stuff. Especially since they can't really take much advantage of Poison in Gen 1 at all. Being Poison type in Gen 1 is just a hindrance. Not bad, not bad. At least Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee give a good amount. I'm not worried about the normal types. I need more stuff for dealing with the rock types. But my brilliant plan is to wait till I get to Celadon for an Eevee for that now, instead of just training the Blastoise, because I'm greedy and I want to put that experience for War Turtle onto uh, my current Mons I'm using. Pokemon are fighting fit. Hopefully you got that. Okay. How close are y'all to a level? And 92. Mama Bird is looking good at 415. Nice. I like that Gen 1 sprite on Persian. Okay, Rhyhorn can get it. I feel like training Rapidash in Diglett's Cave isn't too bad, because it can KO them one shot with a uh, flamethrower pretty easily. Still, it's pretty weak. It's probably better just to beat up the random ons up here. Butterfree and uh, Beedrill also go down pretty easily, too. For some reason, I forgot the name of, of Beedrill, and I almost said, like, Weedle. How much damage can I do to you? For this stage in the game, my Pokemon are stronger, so... Damn, that's good. Like, yeah, Rhyhorn's great for now, but when I try to go to, like, the east side of, um... Cerulean to Rock Tunnel, it's just like, oh. Everything kills me. That's Kaizo. Weedrill. Fixing my headphones there. 
KO these guys with some quick ground moves. Remember that Dig has the same power of Earthquake, which is still a really weird decision. I guess they thought the two turns were that big of a hindrance to make up for it. But then they still also made Razor Wind, which is, uh, I, just, I don't know if they ever knew what they were doing. Never mind. I'm grabbing a sip of my drink there. Doesn't matter what the Voltorb's IVs are, I decided I don't really want to use it. I have to consider a lot of stuff, though, for this. Like, I'm trying to think long-term, but I'm also struggling right now because I want to just save my efforts for when I have the Pokémon I want to use long-term. I'm still assuming I can't get Lapras until, like, really late game, though. Okay, there we got you. How about the cat now? Give the cat a level before I try Surge again. Just make sure everybody's, like, topped up and able to do something. And the dig paralysis bug? I'm pretty sure that's still there. People said it activated last episode when I was on the SSN. Like, what is it? If you get a turn where you're paralyzed while you're underground, and it makes it so that you become, like, invincible or something, that's why apparently dig and fly are just banned from competitive or something. Oh, now the fighting types are showing up. Do I be greedy and go for the flinch? Absolutely. This cat's going good, and I can't be paralyzed by that. That's good. You're getting there, you're getting there. You're getting there, cat. I believe in you. Believe in the cat, chat. Cats have been going good for me in Pokemon lately, haven't they? Maybe I should just get a pet cat. People have been saying I would like one. And honestly, the idea of, like, a little friend just having, like, the zoomies running around the living room does sound nice. There we go. Especially since I hate, uh, like, uh, people said they're good for mice. Pet cat. There we go. Take it out. Critical hit. Would they get along with my pet polar bear? Yes, my government-sanctioned, uh, like, uh, polar bear. <laughs> I'm flubbing my words there. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm a Canadian. I must own a polar bear. A baby polar bear would be cute. Little cub chew. Alrighty, cat. How close are you now? You know what I'd love to do? I would love to play, like, a hack or something that has, like, later Pokemon added, and I'd love to do a playthrough that start lets me start with Litten. I haven't used Litten since I played, like, uh, Sun and Moon on 3DS. There we go. Let's take it out. I've played some GBA hacks that add, uh, Gen 6 starters, and those are cool. Lots of people tell me they watch my streams with their cat on their lap. And they have shown me pictures of the cat of the sleepy cats, their little friends. It's Pikachu. Is Litten's a uh, hidden ability intimidate? That's cool. Alright, level 30. So let's make a chant. Let's make a shot at a uh, surge here, man. I'm flubbing my freaking like uh, words today, aren't I? Put you up front, and I'm gonna take in Voltorb and Farfetch. I don't need to change the team. I'm good. That's why Incineroar is so popular in VGC, is it? For Alola, I always I like Incineroar and Decidueye. I don't really care too much about Prime Arena, but apparently that one's the most popular. I still remember, like, uh, the weekend release of Sun and Moon in my friend group. I was the only person that picked Litten because everyone else looked at, looked online and saw Incineroar and they said it was ugly. And I'm like, I still want the cat. I don't care. And everybody just picked the owl or the little seal. Oh, I can't even remember its name. Poplio. That was it. Better make a save after all this running around. Litten just looks so cute, and Incineroar is just awesome. It's I mean, it's a giant cat rest wrestler. How can you hate it? So, okay, good. It's still set. 
Hey kid, what do you think you're doing? I'm yeah, I'm back here again because I didn't learn my lesson. Decidue is cool though. Freaking grass ghost. I also like its Sisuian form. Where it's just like this kind of like wandering like Ronin warrior. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, it went for it right away this time. I thought it was gonna wait for damage like Golem does. Can I tank it? Yes, I can. Magneton. Can it even do anything? Probably Sonic Boom, actually. But let's see if I can loop it like that other... Alright, here we go. No quadruple weakness, but still. Let's try. Oh, I'm getting them. Come on, Rhyhorn, you got this. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Come on. That's also not good. That's also not good at all, chat. Well, can't say I didn't try. If I would have rolled high on that second dig, I could have killed it. I guess now I gotta spam Swift with Pidgeot. Damn you, Surge. Damn you to hell. Ooh, nice. Come on, you got this. You may be paralyzed, but you can do this. Is that... Damn, that's not even a critical hit. Damn it! Double team isn't in the game for, uh, the player? Oh, really? Well, that's annoying, then. Rapidash should be able to outspeed. I should have spent my money first, but I didn't beat any trainers since I lost to that, uh, Pokemaniac, so it's whatever. I don't really care too much. We're just throwing myself at Surge until I get money. Or, experience, sorry. It's working. Rapidash might be the best thing for Porygon. I'm kind of scared to spam Hypnosis, because you know it's going to miss the moment I try and use it in an important situation. Just don't paralyze. Ooh, nice. Jolteon... I wonder if I could send out Voltorb just to soften it up with an explosion. <laughs> Let me try that. Nah, I can't outspeed it. Be funny, though. Holy crap, that did not just happen. Revenge, chat, revenge. Um, Persian can get in there and finish it off for sure. I don't- I'm pretty sure Rapidash can outspeed it too, but still. He shouldn't have any full restores left. Not even gonna play around with Payday. He's- st he's still fast. Well, he's nine levels ahead, but damn. Come on. I got him anyway. Electabuzz? Uh-oh. Yeah, here it comes. So, what- what stats of Electabuzz have been buffed in this? I'm curious now. Got Ice Punch, damn. Just saw that coming. Alright, let's hope for the ultimate critical flamethrower then, why don't we? Ooh, it learns Psychic naturally now? Damn. And it's faster than my dash. Damn, I should have just tried Hypnosis for the cheese on it. Too late now, but... Attack, defense, special, and speed are buffed. Damn. So, that's everything except HP then, huh? Alright, this is fine. Just keep the in intentional main four on the team. I can't believe that Voltorb strat worked, though. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, so how close are we getting to a level here, before I try again? It's like Electabuzz comes with a free ancient power boost. That's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to sell me on Electabuzz. 415 on you still. You can definitely get one. Sorry, I missed this. What was this? 
16, 14. 9, 20. 2,000. Okay. We can get Purge to level up for sure. Too bad no Slash. You can't do much in that fight without Slash. Did they pretty much just give Electabuzz, um, Electivire stats then? That would make sense as a buff. 20 paydays. Yeah. Problem with paydays, it's still kind of too weak. Magmar got the same treatment? I would assume as much. It's looking like Electabuzz might be good to use alongside Vaporeon. I'm assuming I can only catch it at the power plant, though. That might be a time where I'm gonna have to hunt for a good one with DVs. If it can learn na Psychic naturally, that's also huge. That There's my Psychic coverage as well. Because remember, um, apparently you can't catch Psychic types in this game until uh, you're near the Elite Four. And getting an Alakazam is not fun from what I hear. There we go. You know, I wonder. I I was about to ask, like, if this would be compatible with a randomizer without breaking it, but I feel like a randomizer would end up just making it easier. Like, even in the worst RNG possible, I feel like a, a randomizer could not possibly, like, make this harder. Huh, there we go. A lot of really good Pokemon have a catch rate of one. Well, damn. I know Tauros and Legendary Birds are Cerulean Cave only, which is silly. Let's take you out. Not super worried about money now. Well, damn, he got the critical. I'm real happy for you, bro. I'm real happy for you. Ah, let Rhyhorn get it. Pidgeot can get a, get a level up really easily. There it goes. I may as well let Pidgeot get its level up right there, because it only needs 415. It's a, The badge boost is a 12% in its uh, affected stat, correct? We went over this last time, but again, it's been a few days, and I play a bunch of different games. It's always good to, re to ask questions and reaffirm your knowledge, chat. Yeah, that makes it sound better. Here comes Pidgeot. There you go. I'm proud of you, Mama Bird. You're showing the world what you got. And as for you, what are you looking at? I feel like one level on Rhyhorn would be really important, because remember when I was fighting the Magneton? It just barely survived two digs. So if I can hit it with a uh, two, like, guarantee kill it with two of them, that would be huge. Either way, we're getting lots of experience from that, but... Going to the gym o over and over, like, you know, at best, it'll just be me killing Electrode. If I can guarantee that I can kill the first couple Pokemon over and over, at least on an attempt, that'll also be good. So let's do this. Laugh at the team now all you want. One day they'll show you, chat. One day they'll show all of you how good they are. Okay, here comes you. Probably should have picked something else. Oh, Seismic Toss, right. Yeah, let me get a drink here. Let me do that. Oops. Let me just hit the button here while I'm doing this. I almost just dropped my water bottle. That would have been bad. There we go. Four sixty. Let's go back and heal. We've been staying in this grass for a while. 
Leveling up our friends so much, aren't we? What we got? What we got? Oh, we got a lot of people here right now. Welcome, everybody. I should have known I'm playing my... I'm, you're playing some of my most popular things right now, so... Let's see... Yeah, this series and Yu-Gi-Oh! have been doing really well for me lately. The YouTube algorithm just really likes it, so they're just kind of shoving them and everyone's recommended. There we are. Damn. On Chan again. That's not what I wanted to see. Let's go underground. It's super effective. Can't really afford to get hit by that again. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, good. Alright, that's also acceptable. I can use that. Let's get in there now. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna heal at the center. I'm real proud of Rhyhorn for finally learning another move. It's second move, I had to teach it via TM. Okay, Rhyhorn. Everyone's at least level 30 now. We can at least say that. Now let me go spend my money before I forget again. I got 3,000. I'm gonna buy two more revives. Just just something for now. I'm gonna need those revives in the pack in the long run. Could have bought more if I stopped by or just, like, escape Rock Tunnel faster. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's go, Rhyhorn. Chat, now I'm suddenly thinking about wanting a cat. It would be awesome if I could have Grass Cat and Fire Cat just running around. They're little friends, and I like them. But they won't evolve into a giant wrestler, though. That certainly won't happen. I know I can tank a Critical Explosion. I know I can tank a Critical Explosion. I know I can tank a Critical Explosion. Just, just don't do it. I wonder if the Blue Kaizo AI is dumb enough to explode when I'm underground. Ooh, here we go, here we go, chat. Well, I guess that answers that. Does that mean he's gonna send in his Pokemon for a free attack? They have never made a water car uh, a water cat as a starter, right? There we go. I guess that could be something they do in the future. Okay, one double team, let's not miss, let's go. No! Come on. No, he's got he's got plus two now, chat. He's got plus three. Come on, come on. You can do this. Missed again. I got him. I never gave up hope. Oregon. Okay, Rapidash can do this one. Rapidash's back sprite looks so dopey, don't it? Alright, I'm paralyzed, but whatever. Just keep spamming Flamethrower. And three shot him. He still has his. Uh, oh! Oh, he didn't go for full heal, full restore? I thought that was like, they're... They always do that. Damn it. I don't have quick attack anymore, maybe I could have used that. He's probably gonna go for a full restore now, being at red and burned and having used none of them, so... The best I would get is one hit, but what if I landed Hypnosis? Recover, oh, okay. Fully paralyzed. Yeah, whatever game. 
After Erica, they spam more, but Surge doesn't seem to. Okay. You could probably finish this off. It's Razor Wind time. Jolteon. I don't think Jolteon really has much it can do against uh, Rhyhorn. Like, double kick, maybe? Oh, right, just body slam. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Wait. Isn't that good? That's good. Yeah, I just was talking about this. This is good. I'm invincible now. Never mind. What am I afraid of? Uh, does that reset? Reset it? I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I didn't even mean to do that. I, I swear. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and this is why Dig is banned and competitive, as people needed to, uh, made me aware of last episode. If the game's gonna cheat, you just gotta cheat harder. This Rhyhorn is made of solid cheese, chat. Just don't use Dig again. Yeah, okay. Okay. Rhyhorn's just activated Ultra Instinct. Believe, chat. Believe. Yes. You earned that win, Rhyhorn. You earned that. Can Swift still hit me? Why is it missing? I don't fully understand it, but apparently if you get paralyzed while underground, it makes you just impossible to hit. I wasn't aware of this until recently, but uh, that's hilarious. Is that T-Bolt? Okay, I'm not sure if I can rebuy that later, but we'll hang on to that. Alright, chat. New badge acquired. So now I have my defense buff when I go into battle. Not bad. I am so proud of this uh, stone rhino. It has Rye in the name, so I, I guess it's a rhino. I never actually thought about this until now. Invincible chat. Even Surf couldn't hit it. Even a tidal wave just misses it completely amazing. This is the this is the type of Gen 1 battling you came to see. The one where we learn about more jank in the game than ever before. Okay, let's check. How close are you to another level? This really buffed up Rhyhorn, for sure. But I should train a little bit more in this grass before I attempt to go back to Rock Tunnel. That was beautiful. That was the best way I could have won that battle in this in this for sure. Bah. It's a good thing I learned Rock Slide. That, like, that, getting to level 30 before I attempted that again was actually the best decision I made all day. Still weird how its back sprite looks like, uh, anything except Rhyhorn. Looks like it's standing up. Pidgeotto. Well, I got Rock Slide for that. I always forget Pidgeotto's here. I feel like it's one of the rarest things I run into here. Looks like a spiky snail. Yeah, it does. One hundred HP. I didn't learn dig naturally. I got that from the TM outside of uh, the like the Cerulean house. Uh, just try double edge. 
If they would have made Dig a one-turn move like Fly, that would have uh, that would have prevented me from doing that. Yeah. Brock's Aerodactyl spam Fly like that. Ah, he went submission. Oh well. Still fine. Just get a little bit of extra experience off you. 460. All right, let's check the rest of the team now. How close is Persian to anything? 152. Let's go. Poison me. I wish I was higher level with Persian so I could just spam, uh, spam payday for extra money. I'm gonna have to actually spend my remaining money on super potions before I go to Rock Tunnel, so maybe I should do that a little bit right now. Like, the formula for payday is based on, like, your level, I think. Let me go buy some right now before I forget using Surge's money. wonder if there was anything else I should grab. This is fine. A5. I got revive, so having more super potions on hand before I do that will be good. This is going good, chat. Like, this is, game is definitely hard and the route layout is obnoxious, but like, it's definitely the type of thing you can take slow and enjoy in a stream. I just gotta keep beating up these weird things for a little bit. The more times you use Payday, the more money that comes out of it. There's the crit. Higher level is also good because my speed will give me more access to critical hits. Or a higher chance of critical hits. Payday just gives twice the user's level as in coins? Okay. Oh, did, wait, did I miss? I forget. Just have 90 accuracy. Or was it underground? 186. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all. Here I thought that giving myself a little extra levels before starting the stream would be too much, but uh, apparently not. The levels on the opponents just, like, they go up way too fast. Here we go. Three seventy one, one eighty six. Not bad. The money cat is here, chat. The money cat throws money so that we can pick it up and go buy treats for Teddy Ursa. That's what it's for. Damn, nice. Persian's getting there, chat. All right, I wanted at level thirty two. Maybe Slash will be around the corner. I'm not fully sure if Pidgeot's going to be a mainstay. I might replace it with something else later on. Maybe close to Elite Four. Because again, I'm going to need, like, good IVs and DVs for that stuff for sure. And the calcium or protein items literally do nothing. Vitamins, that's the word I'm looking for. Vitamins. Finish it off. I don't get Slash until level 51. Oh. Oh. They really did not want me to have that for a while, huh? You will likely have to replace most of the team with Victory Road encounters. We shall see about that. We shall see about that. Probably, honestly. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway. So what's my money now? Alright, I can go buy one more Super Potion. Let's do it, chat. Wrong thing. Alright, now I'm gonna start making my way back to Rock Tunnel. And I'm gonna beat up the wild Pokemon I encounter along the way. And I will heal at Cerulean's Pokemon Center. And then we will, we will just get back to Rock Tunnel and maybe we can win. Maybe we can make progress. I mean, I cleared out an entire route and beat a gym leader. That's pretty good progress for a Kaizo session. Like, what is it? Just under two hours I've been going. Not bad. Uh, 
Let's continue our adventure. Along the way. Suddenly, no encounters. There we go. Just take a bite out of the poison thing. Good, good. I may not get slashed for a while, but this cat can still be strong. Finally getting the main members of my team evolved has been great. Well, I still don't have Rhydon. Rhydon will be a beast. I mean, it will die to a lot of things, but... It walls a lot of types in Gen 1, at least. It's kind of like an all-or-nothing Pokemon in that sense, isn't it? Oh, and it got a Bulbasaur? You better get that ride on right the hell away from it. Maybe I can pick up a hidden item along the way. Uh... I'm not supposed to be able to get those, right? Um... Is there an X accuracy down here, by any chance? I'm not supposed to be able to get X items. The devs specifically remove them everywhere except, uh, there. Uh... Maybe I should just take off the bike, hang on. Hang on, chat. Maybe, uh, maybe I should just, uh, take another look around here. Let's, let's check this row. I guess they forgot to remove that hidden item. I found a full restore here before. It's only an X special, and I can only use it once. I wonder if it is intended. I mean, I feel like everybody forgets about the hidden items on Underground Path, so... If I can find an X accuracy, I can use that to sweep something. But it's not like I can buy multiples. It's gonna be a save and reset strat, that's for sure. Don't tell nobody. It's only an X special, though. Best I can do is buff Rapidash to sweep something later in the game, maybe. Alright, check this row and this is it. That guy's house don't exist in this game. So I didn't get no hidden rare candy there. Nothing else? Just the X-Special and Full Restore? I'd have to ask the dev themselves if, like, that is intentional, because you are not supposed to be able to get an X-Item. They're busted in Gen 1. You can do a lot of shenanigans. Like, if you use an X-Accuracy, Oko moves will hit 100% of the time. So obviously the dev didn't let me buy those, or any of them anywhere else. Special's good, because it'll cover a special attack and special defense, so that's at least something. If I could find a hidden X accuracy somewhere, I, I would be so happy, but I doubt that's going to work. And I'm assuming the town, or the, the shop in Celadon isn't going to let you do that either. That would be a little too cheesy, I would say. All right, so I got my flash user, I got my cut user. Now we're gonna go and cry in Rock Tunnel. Leave it to me to just find uh, something I'm not supposed to. That's just how I play video games now, apparently. I don't even have to try, this stuff just happens. Okay, let's go in here. Let's use cut. Alright, let's beat up some Pokemon chat. Let me get a drink. Oh, hey, Gloom. Do I go for something like that for grass coverage now? I wonder. Oh, is uh, Vileplume buffed in this game? Because apparently, uh, Petal Dance is better. That might be good. Okay, see, that's just rude there. 
Vile Plume is buffed. Okay, let's take a look at it. How strong is Mr. Fancy Pants Gloom? Oh, looks like it has high special. Uh, attack isn't as good, but that's fine. Is its HP good? I think that's good HP. Yeah, Petal Dance now absorbs HP. I'm trying to hunt for a good Gloom for my uh, grass coverage right now. So just let me know how this one is. I think this one has higher speed than the last. And yeah, I think this one might be the best one so far. It's what? It's DVs are 15, 10, 0, 15, 10. Holy crap. And the zero is in defense. I can accept that. That that, that is a really good gloom. That is a really freaking good gloom. I just, uh... Alright, chat. Say hello to the new team member. I'm gonna go get my leaf stone. I wasn't hunting for glooms that long. I'll let it that part out for YouTube. Oh, look, there's another one. I'm not even gonna bother. This one's perfect. Perfect except for its... I don't know why I decided to chance that, but I did. <laughs> and Vile Plume has buff stats, so this is good. I'm gonna go for it again. I'm just gonna get the kill. Oh my goodness, this one does this one wants to put up a fight. Well, now I'm just getting out of here. I thought I could just get some quick and easy experience, but no. Let's go ahead and use the leaf stone on it. I'm actually kind of excited. That's probably some of the best DVs we've gotten. Alright. I expected to be hunting for a while, but that's like, what, the third or fourth gloom? Let's just heal up and take it out. Too bad Farfetch can't learn Flash, because I have to carry Voltorb and Farfetch, because I need to use Cut to access the, the tunnel as well. Alright, chat, let's get it. Oops, wrong one. Got two leaf stones. Can't remember the last time I ever used uh, one of these, so let's see. Show me what you got, Vile Plume. Become Big Flower. There you go. You ever think Vile Plume's whole body must feel like crushed from that massive flower on its head? I don't know if I've ever seen its Gen 1 back sprite. Damn. It's looking good. So this thing can be a tank, except for physical. That is a massive weakness, like... Per like, just... Two perfect IVs, uh, two tens, but one zero in defense. So I just gotta play with it carefully. I mean, it doesn't look like its uh, defense was going to be amazing in the long term anyway. Yeah, we'll take it. Grass Poison's going to leave it weak to a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Hang on. Sorry, how much PP does Petal, Petal Dance have? Five. Okay. At least I got Sleep Powder, which is more accurate than, um, than Hypnosis. Without another move, it's going to run out of PP very quickly. Hmm... Who should I leave behind in the PC when we, uh, start taking care of Rock Tunnel? I guess we'll see. I feel like I should carry it with me, so I have, like, something to combat, uh, like, Omanites and all that. But with only 5 PP, it's like, what am I gonna do with it, right? It needs more TMs. What's this one? Oh, right, Bubble Beam. It gets multiple hits from each PP, that's right. Okay. All right, let me buy this one potion. There we go. Bloom doesn't really get much from leveling up, right? 
It's better to just use TMs. It already has its best grass move. It's not like I'm gonna spam anything else. Solar Beam's TM, but I don't know if I really want to rely on Solar Beam. The two-turn is... Unless they made that one a one-turn move as well. It got no more level moves? Okay, so I evolved it at the right time. Wrong one. It's kind of a common issue in this game. As we've been seeing. All right. So I have Rapidash up front, just so it can just burn some quick grass types for some experience along the way. Let's make our way to Rock Tunnel and have a blast, why don't we? A perfect. Rhyhorn can't really fight these things unless I run into Magnemite. Grass and bug types. Um, what kind of TM could I give Vileplume? I'm not sure. I wonder if the vitamins don't work at all, like Oak physically stops me from using them. Does that mean PP ups also don't work? There's another Gloom. Burn you. I'm assuming Toxic could be a TM. You can't- I think you can use PP up? Okay. Yeah, I know I- I get Toxic from Koga, but considering every Pokémon can kind of learn that, I feel like that's gonna be a TM they let me rebuy. There's not really any- there's not much in the way of Poison Stab in Gen 1. There's just, like, Acid and... Uh... Smog? And that's it. A normal type move, but I'm using it for its special. That wouldn't work. Oh yeah, sludge technically counts. Sludge and acid just feel like the same move, honestly. But that's besides the point. Oh yeah, poison sting is also a move. That one... I associate that one more with bug types because of how because it just ends up being on them. Even though it's in the name, I just don't never think of it as poison sometimes. Oh, weeping bell. Vile plume is like a bit of a tank as it is, so I can use it to kind of just sleep powder. I doubt it's gonna have access to leech seed in any way. Like, who knows, I'll probably, like, replace it later, but... We'll see. Here's more ponies. Rapid Ash is catching up to Pidgeot. Running at top speed across the land. Ouch. You're getting there. You're getting there. Uh, Butterfree. I'm gonna run out of flamethrower soon, but there's no more trainers to fight on this route. I can heal at the center outside a rock tunnel and just be on my way. Wild Plume is kind of low level, though, yeah. Like, by the time I get to rock tunnel, everything's gonna be ten levels ahead of it, so it's gonna be difficult to train unless it gets, like, the quadruple weakness hit with Petal Dance. Metal Dance is so powerful it can carry on its own, but another option would be good. I guess another Grass Stab option? No Razor Leap TM, though. That's gonna be its downside, carrying it around in the field with that low PP. But even if I do find a PP up, I'm gonna have to consider if I want to save them for my uh, Elite Four team, because PP is gonna matter. Unless I can buy ethers at the end of the game, in which case that'll be fine. I think ethers can be bought from a store in Vermilion. By that point, I should be able to farm easily with Payday. Just keep getting stronger, Rapidash. Just keep getting stronger. 
I'm trying to think of any other Gen 1 TMs that Vileplume would have access to, but I'm drawing a complete blank. Nope, well, it's fine. Send a note Vileplume to put the, like, paralyze or put the other Pokemon to sleep and switch it out wouldn't be too bad either, but with my luck, they're gonna wake up turn one, because they always do. I wanna see Rapidash hit level 38. This horse is working for it, and I'm so proud. Okay, now I'm gonna put Rhyhorn up front, and I'm gonna hope that I just run into Magnemite. Yeah, let me just fix how I'm sitting here. Really might just come down the double edge. Yeah. I suppose Solar Beam wouldn't be that bad if... Uh oh That sucks. Solar Beam wouldn't be that bad if I use Sleep Powder first. But, uh, wouldn't... Isn't, like, Solar Beam the same power as Petal Dance? Or are they changed in this? I guess it depends on the situation. And I'm really realizing how little, like, uh, moves there are in Gen 1. Well, there it is now. But now I'm paralyzed. He bolt. Oh, that's right. I didn't- I don't know if I got an answer for that. If Solar Beam is a one-turn or two-turn move in this. Dig is still two turns, but Fly is one turn. Yeah, I gotta put someone else up front. How about Persian now? Let's hope it's good. Not much I can do with Petal Dance against these Mons. Maybe inside the tunnel itself it'll be good. Oopsie, wrong menu. Hey, Poliwhirl. How are you? Looks so squishy. Can I get away with killing it? Let's find out. Of course it lands that. Why wouldn't it land that, chat? Why wouldn't it land Hypnosis? It's got Seismic Toss. Cool. Oh, look, I'm still fast asleep. Who, who, who saw that coming? Wake up. Oh, look, I'm still asleep. I'm still asleep. Four or five turns of sleep, you know, normal in Pokemon. You gotta love that. Okay. Well, everyone's all, everyone's dying here. And I run into another one of those, and Vileplume's too slow to run. Oh, gosh. Just use a Repel now. Let's do that. And <laughs> put Pidgeot up front. Mama Bird is proud of everybody, but Mama Bird still has to clean up. Back we go. Almost there. You just made it. I'm proud of you again. Oh. I was close. I was close. May as well kill it. I'm about to hop in the center. See how far we can get into the cave this time. Yep, that is the person who made this. Ooh, it's so cold lately. A hot drink is nice. We hope to see him again. Alright, and I need Voltorb. Damn. Can I even train Vileplume in the cave? I'm gonna have to try. I'm not going to be able to take it very far. Do I put Rhyhorn away? And uh, This is such a painful, painful thing to deal with now. Mm. I gotta press ahead. Let me put Persian away first, because I feel like if I run into rock types, I can't really do anything right now. Find the Voltorb. Here we go. 
Here we go. Is its health still? Nope, it's good. Alright, you two. You got a job to do. Make sure it goes well. Right. You gotta do that first. Just run from it. There you go. Alright. Use Repel. Starting to run low on those, but that's okay. That's just how it is sometimes. Let's begin, chat. Everyone's favorite place. All these black voids here, just to make absolutely sure I can't feel my way around the cave. Pokemon, fight, ready, go. Alright, this is the person who had the, the queen. Take them out. Just go right for it with Razor Wind. I can use Dig to immediately go back to the center. And I'm gonna have to fight every trainer. And there's a good handful of them in here, so... Don't crit or freeze, please. Well. What? Can I... Can I just, like... I don't know why I try. I asked, please! Please, chat! What did I get? Nothing. I have to... Oh, well, Pidgeot's dead. You think I don't know how Frozen works? I know how Frozen works. Okay. That's that's just how it goes for me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you should be able to outspeed this. Just kill it. Avenge Mama Bird. That's a clip right there, ain't it? That's a clip right there. Game over. Well... It was a good try while it lasted, and my top Pokemon died. <laughs> Back we go. One Pokemon, chat. I killed one Pokemon. That's my first, uh, first freeze in the entire run. That's so great. I said please. I said please don't do, do those things, and what does it do? It does both of them. Both of them, chat. Well, there's that. Okay. I pretty much gotta use one propel here. Just to get through this long gauntlet of grass. Get on the bike. Might I, I probably should have picked up some more repels at Vermilion before I left, but it's whatever. Pidgeot is free. Alright, hit the flash. Well, there's nothing over here at all, right? Yeah, it's just a way to feel it out. So they do that, so I gotta reset it again, huh? That's a little mean. It looks like I had the right direction the first time, but I'm just taking a look around. Poking my head to see what's available. Right is correct to go first. Looks like everything's gonna be a dead end. Okay, there's Voltorb. I know Voltorb literally can't do anything to Rhyhorn, so... Even if it's a tiny amount of experience, I'll take it. There it goes. Okay. Okay, so far I've only seen wild Voltorbs here so far. Can run away from you easily. Okay, that's that. 
going to take me a while to form a proper mental map of this area. I wonder if I can take you out with a one-shot of, like, Swift or something. Yeah, don't you love how Gen 1 makes it so that the bike music plays all the time? But you gotta use it, because the bike is just too fast. Too good. Okay, seems like putting Rhyhorn up front wouldn't be a bad place to train it. I'd run out of digs quickly, but I'm gonna have to leave anyway, so... There's no way I'm gonna beat all the trainers in one go, especially since I have to take Farfetch'd and Boltorb to get in here. What? Why is that there? Why is this here? I don't like this. I want to go home. You you are not... Get out of this cave. You don't belong here, Boom. You're slow, at least. Oh, and I'm slower. Get away. Well, there's Golbat. Another thing I can't hit with, uh, Dig, but I can hit it with Rock Slide for Stab. I don't like that, chat. I don't like that at all. Oh! Turn 1 Wake Up. Nice. Nice. Can I have a ride on today? That would be a fantastic game. Maybe. Maybe, chat. Oh, hi, Machoke. How are you? HM for Fly would be good on Pidgeot, because Wing Attack is, like, super weak in Gen 1. Other than that, the only way to kill fighting types is to use Psychic moves, and, uh, we ain't gonna have any of those. I might as well use Dig on you, since, uh, Dig has immunity from Earthquake in Gen 1, which is still weird to... weird for my brain to process. There we go. I don't want to use another dig. I want to save them. Wow, that's what I get for trying to do that. Oh, well. Well, here we go. This is what I get for wanting a little bit of experience. Come on, Rhyhorn, you'll be all right. Super Potion. Good old Onyx and its attack stat equal to Oddish. It's so funny. Okay, recovered by 44. Not bad, not bad. Any more Electro types in here? Nope, just you. This thing hits me with a pedal dance, my life is over. I ran into Grimer and Voltorb and I thought it would just be so safe to put you up front. Hiplup has a higher attack stat than Onyx. Damn. Well, hope you're all comfortable, because we're going to be here for a bit. Gen 1 sleep. Gen 1 sleep. Did Onyx get buffed in Kaizo? I'm not even sure. They, I mean, they gave it Earthquake. It's at least strong early on for that reason. Even Rhyhorn just has double edge forever. Only has a stab ground move because of, um... Because I gave it dig, and oh my, it was battle still going. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Excellent. And another encounter! Moved a whole few steps. Double edge. Can't do a thing. Thirty-three? Not thirty-three. I draw Pokemon when I'm home. If a stranger approaches you in a cave telling you about their Pokemon fan art, you run. I should have seen that coming, honestly. Oh well. Paralyzed on you. It's up to Pidgeot, ain't it? <laughs> yep, it's up to Pidgeot. 
Okay. Please don't freeze in critical hit. Well, there we go. It worked for me. Looks like I'm gonna have to leave soon, though. Why are these switches here? I don't like this. They're just there ominously. Is it because they show up in the dark? It's probably that might be the reason. I don't know why I got greedy, but I got greedy. I have to leave here anyway soon, so it's fine. Should probably use a revive. I don't need to go back right now. I could probably beat some more trainers, realistically. Can't escape. Oh, right. Paralyzed. Lowers my speed. Duh. Well, now you're fainted. Still can't escape. Hang on, I'm just gonna use two revives potions. Letting it die made it so that I don't have to use a paralyzed heal. And I've got plenty of revives. Completely intentional, chat. It's nice that some of my mons all got, like, HP over, um, over 100 now. 9 super potions, huh? There you go. You're powerful. You can do this. I believe in you. Now that Rhyhorn's up front, Gloom is gonna show up. Haha! -ha. Reverse psychology game. Got seven digs left. close are you? Do not want to accidentally hit Dig. I almost did that. That would have been bad. 259. Okay, so far so good. There's a trainer in the way. That is the way forward. I love Rhyhorn being a wall. There you go. Any evolution? Nope. One day. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do this. Level 40. Would Pedal Dance do it? Let's give it a shot. I'm switching in for this, though. It's a tiny little flower. Body slam. Oh, of course you got Blizzard. Everybody and their grandmas got this TM. Damn. Ten levels ahead of it, chat. And it just KO'd it like it was nothing. Sap the turtle's strength. That was good. Tangula. Well, I got a horse for that. Good job. Bioplume is making making sure it knows it's good. It know it, we know that it's good, sorry. Tanked a level 40 blizzard and then it just one shot at that thing. Be proud of all these Pokemon chat. Oh, I lost. Give it a super potion. Oh, hi, Primeape. Looking pretty alive right now. Let's run away. Yeah, you deserve it. Happy little flower. Well, actually, the happy little flower would be if I used a sunstone on Gloom. Has it ever bought? Has like sun? No, not sun flora. What am I saying? Has Blossom ever bothered anybody with how it looks like nothing? It doesn't even look like it's related to the Oddish line. That bugged me a lot when I was younger. Like it just does not look like it's even remotely related to them. Do you know about costume players? I think this is a trainer I almost never, never fight. Uh oh. You know about cosplayers? Do you want to see my cosplay? 
Oh, it's got rage, okay. If you're alone in a dark cave and a stranger approaches you about cosplay, you run away. Especially if he has a camera. Alright, that's fine. We got paralyzed heals for that. Blossom is also tiny. Like, it's super tiny. I don't think it's along the lines where, like, it fits in a trainer's hand, but, like, it's pretty damn tiny. It's smaller than Oddish. Well, that's that. Costume players dress up as Pokemon for fun. Out here in the dark caves, they do. There we go. Dead end. Yeah, I can only assume that the strength switches are just there to, um... Be, like, some kind of marker in the darkness. So that I can't, like... Oops. <sighs> Run away. Hello, fellow costume players. Well, this thing spams hypnosis anyway, so rock slide will be fine. What if you're walking in a cave and all of a sudden a guy dressed as like Lucario just hops out from behind a rock and like a rock and starts chasing you? Also, I'm dead. That's what would happen. You'd die. Let Rapidash do it. The drain did a lot of damage. They probably buffed the move, I think. We'll take that. Okay, that's that there. Guy right there. Shouldn't hurt to use a revive now. That's what I bought him for. There's gonna be a point where I'm definitely gonna have to leave, though. I'm not using that full restore. That's the hidden one I picked up in the underground path. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Don't worry. Everything in Gen 1 moves will leave me crying. Oh, it's drowsy. 42. Um... Will it just have Psychic? Oh, no, it has that. Okay. Hypnosis, Toxic, pick one. Ooh, okay, never mind. Go back to picking those. Well, I don't know what I expected. Hmm. I guess let Rapidash keep cleaning up. Rapidash is nearing level 40. We believe in the horse, chat. We ride it majestically through the cave. Oh, a super potion, huh? Got specials. Let me just try double edge. Yeah, he didn't even get a critical. That psychic just hit me hard. I give. You're a better technician. I don't recognize the dialogue of a lot of these trainers, because usually I go through Rock Tunnel in the darkness, and I have, like, a, a mental map and a route I take, so I, there's a lot of trainers I've just never fought before. Not since, like, I was a small child. Let's do this, and hopefully things work out. Come on, Rhyhorn, I need you to stay alive for more than one battle. Okay. Rhyhorn certainly is pulling its weight, at least. Well, at least I didn't spend the PP. No, I shouldn't check its stats. Let's go. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. Just pull out a gun and go pop, pop, chat. Pop, pop. Hiker wants to fight. Hitmon Lee. Hmm. I guess I should just let Pidgeot do it, really. Oh, yeah, Seismic Toss, okay. Just 
Too bad they couldn't have made Razor Wind flying. At least I still get stabbed from it, though. Sand Slash. Um, I think Bottle Plume can do this. 35, okay, let's try it. But it failed. But you died, said the giant flower. Damn. Vile Plume with its 100% win rate so far. Alright, we're almost done this room. I think Sky Attack is one turn as well, but you get one TM. Hmm. See, that's what worries me. You want to save everything for the Elite Four because of how just, like, uh, important stuff is. This tunnel goes a long way. I know how this goes. I fight the trainer to move on. There's no way I can get around him, so may as well just get it over with. Damn it, here's Onyx again. That's right, you missed. Ooh, okay. Let Vile Plume do it. Onyx looks so angry and threatening in that sprite to me, honestly. Okay, it's fine. Rock Slide doesn't have its flinch chance in Gen 1, right? That was added later, I think. Machoke. Okay, I think it would be fine to use Flamethrower for this. That sprite for Onyx doesn't say base 40 attack, yeah. Oh nice, crit on that. Gotta love the Rapidash crit. Gotta make up for Persian's, um, levels falling behind when I get out of Rock Tunnel. And by then, I'm gonna have to train up, um, Vile Plume as well. If I do end up going for an Electabuzz, like, hunting for, like, a legit good IV one to use at the end of the game, um, I think all the, the swimmers in the ocean will be a good place to train it. Okay, you're going with that. No problem. Hmm... I don't trust Hypnosis to hit when I really need it. But I do try. I have a better chance of getting critical hits than Hypnosis landing. That's what it feels like. Rapidash is level 40. you love to see it. Oh, you win. You win. Make a save in case something goes wrong. Now, how many more trainers do I have left? I fought a good amount so far. Just keep going. Maybe I'm lost in here. Yeah, Focus Energy's busted in Gen 1, and I don't think it's fixed in this game. It actually lowers the crit rate, which is hilarious. So you're probably gonna go boom. See if you do that. Yes, he did. Can I predict, or can I predict, chat? I must be psychic. Okay, 34. Golduck. Ooh. It might have Psybeam, and it might kill Vileplume, but I'm getting to the point where I gotta use Dig to reset anyway, so let's just try a Petal Dance. Just has straight Psychic, which is also illegal without a TM. Damn. Alright, Razor Wind. Lynched. Ooh. Come on, you can take it. Don't think it has a priority move, but I'm worried about things. 47 on Mama Bird. Let's go. Your speed's almost at 100. Mr. Mime. Well, I guess I got my last, uh, Razor Wind here. The last time I saw Mr. Mime running around a cave like this is in Fool's Gold, where it becomes Mr. Mine. He's up. What am I doing? Which way is out? 
All right. Let's get out of here and heal at the center. I think I can complete this place today. Problem is, there's normally a bunch of trainers after Rock Tunnel, and I get the feeling they're going to make me fight them to get into Lavender Town. I'm going to have to mute the Lavender Town music, too. I just remembered that. All right, lads, you did it. Oh, hi, Mina. Welcome. Guaranteed encounter. First step into the grass. We can still do this. We can still do this. The horse is absolutely doing great today. And Rhyhorn's also catching up. I have Persian, but I'm gonna have to train it later. And I have a super well uh, high IV... A uh, vile plume. Oh, you just been lurking? Okay. Thought you just got here. There you go. Barfetch hacked away with that. Okay. Get on the bike. And then we repel. And repel for the first section of the cave as well. This will wear off relatively quickly. I'm actually getting through this tunnel okay. I think going back to fight Surge was absolutely the best decision, for sure. Oops. Rock Tunnel is, like, feels like it'd be impossible without, um... Without Flash here, for sure. What am I doing? I can see that's, that's a dead end. I can't really remember the way from here. Uh, I think it was right. Yeah. There we go. Only 50 steps. Just follow the trainers. Just follow the trainers. Oopsie. Okay, it should be the last one I use for now. Just want to quickly get back to where I was. Happy wholesome bike music in this scary dark cave. Okay, yeah, we go like this. All right. Now we're good. And then we got you. You know what I could do to guarantee an escape? Just switch to Voltorb, because I don't care if it gets put to sleep or not. Rhyhorn to hit something, but it's not showing up. And this is the room I left in, so we're good. Now there's something I can hit. Only level 20, though. Kind of weird how some things are just kind of low level. Oh, wait a second, what? Oh, I thought I had... My brain... When I sent out Pidgeot against the Gloom, I my brain thought I had Rhyhorn up front and Rhyhorn was in the battle. What's wrong with me? I switched to Voltorb for no freaking reason. I don't know why I did that. who it is. I suppose I could just send out Vileplume for this. Because Onyx is so fast, I can't really run away from it, and I don't want to waste all my digs. I'll get my health back anyway, because for some reason Petal Dance absorbs health, which is kind of really stupid, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. What do we got here? Oh. Crap. Okay. Ooh, that's fine. I got antidotes. I got antidotes. Upside down coughing. He looks so upset about it, too. There we go. Okay, right ways over here. Okay, dead in there. 
Everything is just one tile, like, uh, away from me seeing if it's a dead end or not. Okay, still give Gloom a chance to shine. Or, why'd I call it Gloom? File Plume. Words today, chat. They're difficult. That was a critical hit. Wow. An Oddish could take you, Onyx. Literally. You love to see it. 80 special at 31. Not bad. Not bad at all. Only downside is it's literally zero defense. Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City, the Lavender Town. I like how that sign is just there. For no other reason than just to, uh, taunt, taunt you. You could self-destruct for a quick experience. Why not? It's not like you have anything you can do. Nice. Rhyhorn's really good for the self-destructing mons and, um, the Electro-types. I wonder if it's possible to get a good, like, uh, physical wall like this for Crystal Kaizo early on. I don't suppose you can get an early Larvitar for that. Okay, I know you got Surf, so it's probably not a good idea for me to mess around. I'll just go right to Pidgeot for this one. Actually, everything you do can kind of be, um resisted by vile plume so maybe you're not bad for uh switch ins again electric types against electric types as well except electabuzz since apparently it learns psychic naturally which is good for me bad if i encounter one myself dugong my nemesis returns uh it's gonna have Ice Beam and Blizzard. Vile Plume shouldn't be sent in. I should just Razor Wind and get rid of it as fast as possible. A Swift should be able to kill it. Luckily, it didn't go for any Ice moves. Oh my god, really? Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Damn. Only that crit could have been on the Swift. Zero. Um, I can't imagine this can do anything against, uh, against Rhyhorn. Firo's Gen 1 sprite always looks so, like, chunky compared to, like, every other sprite, in, like, I've ever seen for it. Oh, Hyper Beam. Well, uh, of course. Why, why wouldn't you get a critical hit? Why wouldn't you get a critical hit? You have to recharge. Let's go. Damn, no 35 yet. I'm out of Pokemon. Yes, you are. And I'm out of patience for you. Four super potions left. Damn. Well, better use one on Pidgeot. Darn, you know what's going to be real annoying? The next time I go back to the center, I'm probably going to have to go... No, I, they don't sell super potions at uh, Cerulean. I'd have to go back to Vermilion. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, no. She was blocking this way, I gotta go this way. Or wait, was she facing down? No, she was facing down initially before I talked to her. You've got Mega Drain, so... Uh, right. Just try. Just try. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I should've seen that. Oh, hey, lick a tongue. Um, I don't think it can do anything. Would it be safe to just kill with a uh, rock slide? Let's find out. Nice. Okay, we're doing okay. Hmm. Once I get out of Rock Tunnel, that's when there's a lot of things to do in the game. I have to go through the Rocket Hideout. I can go to Erica at most, like, any point. Uh, I can climb Lavender Tower. Come to think of it, does Kaizo do anything about the Pokedoll exploit? Not that I would, like, skip the trainers regardless, but, uh... Because if you use a Pokedoll in the Marowak fight, it, um... 
It forces the battle to end, but the game technically counts that as the same as defeating it. So you don't have to get the Sylph Scope. You can just use a Polka Doll against the Ghost, and it's kind of hilarious. Let's send out Vileplume. Alright, let it get its attack in. Vileplume will super die to, like, any flying attack later on. Onyx is too weak to do anything. Alright, here's the next one. Am I ready for it? Doll isn't viable at Celadon. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. That's true. Um... I usually buy it at Celadon, so it's probably in the town after you get, the, like, sealed off by the Polka Flute, so I guess I can't do that. Unless there's a way to, like, find it in the underground path, like I did with that X item I'm not supposed to have. You know what I'll do? I bought one regular-ass potion down here. Yeah, this'll make sure I win. <laughs> Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. I think you can buy it somewhere, but they didn't want you skipping. Okay, that's fine. Sand Slash. Ah, uh, this still be good for Vileplume. Vileplume is actually doing okay. I think it was it, it was definitely worth the time to catch a good Ponyta and catch a good Bloom. Alright. Rock Slide might hurt a bit, but you don't have Stab. Oh, a crit. Always with the crits. Come on, don't miss. One shot, one kill. All that health back. I love this flower. This flower is looking nice. 35. Good. Haunter. Um. Nightshade's annoying because of its set damage, but I can hit it with Dig. Maybe kill it with that? I don't want to spam Razor Wind on it. Spooky Ghost. Yeah, with Nightshade. 41 damage, for crying out loud. What a crit. Ooh, I didn't even need it. Nice. Is 35 enough for a level? Nope. Oh. Alright, two super potions. Man, I might really have to go back to Vermilion to buy more of these. Oh, no. Okay, what do we got left? There's Voltorb again. If I could just magically get Ride On in a second, that would be fantastic, too. Oh, this one has Sonic Boom. Well, whatever. Can't be that much left. I think that's most of the, the tunnel trainers. We'll take the experience, we'll take the experience. How close are you? Not even close. 2,399. Heck. Heck. Let me guess, Sonic Boom and then Explosion? Oh no, you're mixing it up. You're skipping a step. Whatever. I'll take it. And this is the only thing on this floor, apparently. It got me. At least that's a good chunk of experience per Voltorb. When I have access to Lavender's Pokemon Center, coming back back in here in and out might be good for it. If I still don't have uh, the thing. Okay. I need you to not spam Sleep Powder. I gotta set you on fire and get out of here. Okay, that's good. Still, it's pretty damn strong. Yeah. 
Let me get some water. Beat Surge? Yeah, I beat Surge earlier. I was having trouble around Rock Tunnel, and I realized that not only would Surge give me experience anyway... Oh, crap. Um, his badge boost would also help. This thing is a beast, unfortunately, so I gotta deal with it. Now, I didn't cheese him. I beat him with strategy. Let's get that right. I used my knowledge of the game to outwit him. Weeping Bell. Hmm, there might still be a, a lot to go through here. Hmm, it might be a good idea for me to use Dig, go back to the center, call it an episode, and then start the next episode by, um... by going back to Vermilion and getting all a bunch more Super Potions off-stream. Maybe also give my team a few more levels as well, because they need them. Okay, that damn right that missed. Because out, right outside of Rock Tunnel, between Lavender, is, uh, I think, like, what, four or five trainers? I'm gonna have to fight them all. I'll need more repels as well, that's for sure. Because I want to say it would take me, like, another hour to get the freaking Lavender. Hang on. Is there another trainer coming up? Maybe go for one more? Just doing a little stretch here. Maybe I can get away with a dig on you. Plus, I do want to start some Purity Forest runs tonight already. Critical hit. Maybe I'll just start next episode, like, for the convenience of the YouTube audience, I'll just, uh, get back to my last spot in the cave after I buy the potions. So you don't have to- so I don't have to start the episode just relearning the entire layout, <laughs> running back in a few days. That would work just fine. Alright, so let's just beat this guy and call the day, and then I'll continue off next time. Because I want to have time for a little bit of purity. I've done my- I, I've done about my usual time for this. Three hours. Okay. Depend on what it does. I'm gonna try Vile Plume, though, anyway. Let's go. Bad defense. Can you handle it? Ooh, that's bad. It's gonna be neutral. It's technically neutral, but... And just go YOLO. Wait, what? Th there is no way a hiker AI did that. No. No, it did not. <laughs> well, that's just rude. Oh, I hurt myself in confusion. Yeah, alright. It's fine. I'm leaving after this battle anyway. I guess it's time for Flamethrower. Doesn't matter if you switch out of that. I was just hoping to put it to sleep before it killed me. Problem, no problem. Dog Trio doesn't have much HP stat, so. Oh, there's another one after that. Earthquake will super kill me, though. Pidgeot's almost dead. Hmm. Just hit it hard with Razor Wind or Swift, then. Save Rapidash, because Rapidash will instantly die. Please tell me you don't have another ghost. Okay, this is fine. Cadaver has no defense. So we got him. He ascended out, it's fine. Damn. Thought maybe I could be a little fast. Oh boy. I might have to revive Strat in a second here, jeez. Alright, see if we can finish it, Rapidash. Because I don't want to lose the money I got from this whole coin, from this, this crap. Oh, it went slash. It was faster. This thing is too fast. It's killing me. All right, I gotta revive Pidgeot. That's what I gotta do. I can't use revives in battle. I just remembered that. Well, I'm dead. I goodbye money.
We are dead. Oh well, I can always just farm more with Payday. I keep saying that, but damn, that's an unfortunate way to just lose it. It's fine. I was going to leave the cave right after fighting this guy anyway. So, same result, I just lose a little bit of money. But I did get some experience points. I'll have my revenge against them next time. It's not so bad. Not so bad at all, chat. So, checking the team here. We got a level 35 Rhyhorn. How close are you to leveling up? Let me get you a level right now. Let me get you a level. Hello, Psyduck. How are you? Maybe I'll have Ride on at that level. We never know. It's kind of surprising how well Vileplume is doing because Vileplume is like severely like under leveled right now. But it's still like holding its own when I send it in. Nice. Just needs more PP basically. All right, one more battle here. Would 36 get me a ride on? I'd love to hope so. Let's find out. Either way, good progress today. So, I it looks like I got most of Rock Tunnel done today, and I got Surge beaten. But there's still going to be a handful of trainers just to get into Lavender Town. Okay, let's see if we get a evolution. Nope, no evolution. That's fine. That's fine. The team definitely is, like, pulling together here. Like, Pidgeot is still, like, much higher level, but the other Pokemon are evolved. They're catching up. They're doing much better. Persian's also in the PC. Like, this is getting much better than how things were going last episode. Like, investing in Mons, like, uh, that were a little weak at first, but they're getting stronger. Um... There's gonna be a lot more things to access once we get to Lavender. Well, I shouldn't assume. I should not assume anything. The game's probably going to make me take, like, a, a thousand steps to get to Celadon from Lavender. Who knows? My brain keeps forgetting that everything's gonna change when we get back. But anyways, this is where I'm gonna start stop this episode. I hope you're all still enjoying. Next time uh, I start this up, hopefully I will remember to go buy some more repels and super potions, and I'll just start inside the cave so we can just kind of skip going back for it, like, right now. Anyways, hope you all have a comfy night. Bye-bye.